Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We are going to be diving into a brand new collection from ColourPop. What I have in front of me is the Wild Nothing collection. So I picked up the eyeshadow palette, the set of the Lux lip oils, which I am super excited about. I also picked up the two brand new Jelly Much shadows, as well as a new formula that they just launched, their matte cream eyeshadows or their eyeshadow bases. We will be diving into all of this together, creating a look together. I will be giving you my thoughts. I I am super excited because I haven't reviewed any new ColourPop eye products in quite some time. So I'm just gonna jump right into it. Let's go ahead and dive in and let's talk about these beautiful brand new products from ColourPop. Now, if you are new to my channel, I am a huge fan of the brand. I do wanna say that I did purchase these with my own money. So no, this is not sponsored. I don't have any codes with them or anything else. Let's go ahead and start off with the lip oils because well, I need something on my lips. They feel very dry right now. I believe that this is a new formula to ColourPop. When I saw this collection, the shades, I was instantly drawn in. I am a huge fan of anything nude when it comes to lip products. The packaging obviously is adorable as well. I just love the vibes here with the cactuses and the flowers. I almost feel like that this was maybe supposed to be ColourPop's spring launch possibly. It kind of gives me like Coachella festival vibes and I think because of everything that went on it might have gotten delayed. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts on that but that is the vibe that I get from the packaging and everything. So here is a closer look at all of the shades. Now, spoiler alert, I have been obsessed since I got this with this clear shade right here. This is called Dewdrop. I posted a very satisfying photo of it on my Instagram page. I could not stop applying this to my lips. It just feels so good. The formula is fantastic. It does come with the clear shade right here, which I absolutely love. Then next in the collection, we have Skinny Dip, which this type of shade is a favorite of mine. This is another one that I can see myself just applying constantly. Constantly. Then the next shade we have is Playa Vista, another beautiful shade, almost just like a slightly deeper version of one I just showed you, Skinny Dip. Then we have Hot Shot. And the more I look at these up close, the more I'm like, they're just beautiful. They are perfect. They are the perfect shades. And then last but not least, we have Bengal right here. So those are the lip oils. I think I'm going to go ahead and put on a lip liner and then we will try out one of the oils. So I'm going to take, what lip liner do I want? So I'm going to take this lip liner right here from Wayne Goss. This is one of the essential lip pencils in the shade Vintage Pink. This is one of my all-time favorite lip liner shades. So just slightly overlined the lips just to give them some definition. And I think I'm gonna go for this lightest shade right here, Skinny Dip. That's perfect and it blends in perfectly with my lip liner. Now this formula, like I said, is very comfortable. It is not sticky at all. It is a true lip oil. It's very nourishing. Sometimes certain lip oils, I feel like I can put them on and my lips actually feel drier after wearing them, but it is definitely not the case with this formula. Packaging A+, super comfortable. They are shiny, nourishing on the lips, and they smell fantastic. They're like a tropical pineapple coconut almost smells like tanning lotion, but almost not, but they are delicious. So that is the lip oil collection. I just wanted to touch on those quickly for those that were interested before diving into all of the eye products. So let's talk about next the cream shadow bases. So I think four of these launched, I picked up two of them, Camouflage, and then I also picked up the shade Bronco, and I will show you guys the packaging for these. Now, I think that these are supposed to be a direct dupe for the MAC paint pots, which is really exciting. I have never actually tried any of the paint pots before. Shocker, I know. I don't know how I missed the boat on that one. And I've always wanted to. I just never did. These are what the two shades look like. I just try to pick up something, you know, kind of in the middle. So one that was slightly deeper and one that was lighter closer to my skin tone because I do want to use these to prime my lids. So I think we're going to go in with this shade today, Bronco. And I'm just going to go ahead and start by dabbing this all over the lid. It feels kind of sticky. And I didn't set my lids with any powder or anything. I feel like it's kind of bunching up. I don't know if that's the concealer or what, but it it's not sitting very nice on my eyes. I might have just messed up my entire look. Let me go ahead and try to dab this on versus rubbing it on. <laughs> don't know how I feel about that. It feels very thick and very dry. If you have tried the MAC Paint Pots before, please let me know. I'm gonna go ahead and just put some on the other eye because I have to make things even now. If I dab it on, it's okay. It just feels, and maybe, I don't know if it's just my inexperience with this type of a product or what, but it feels, yeah, it just feels very thick 
like if I dab it on it feels better and hopefully it'll do something fantastic for my shadow I'll have to keep playing with those and keep you guys updated because yeah so far I'm really on the fence with that like it doesn't look bad on the eyes I don't love the way that it applies all right moving on let's go ahead and move to the meat and potatoes of the collection which is the eyeshadow palette how stunning are these shades and these swatch beautifully this is probably swatch wise the most satisfying palette I have from ColourPop I'm gonna come out and say it the mattes are like creamier than usual and I don't know why but they are just so pigmented they swatch so rich and so do the metallics in here I am so excited to get this on my eyes now I know I mentioned that I picked up the jelly much shadows and we will talk about those in just a moment but I really want to get my base down and I'm really hoping that this base that I set doesn't mess it all up let's hope for the best all right I'm gonna zoom you guys in so you can get a closer look and see how these shadows perform I have no clue what kind of a look I'm going to create but I will say this is very neutral and kind of self-explanatory so I don't see myself having an issue creating a look with this palette I feel like all the shadows can kind of just go together the color story is really nice and again it's very neutral we're gonna start off with this shade right here this is the shade Crystal Cove I'm gonna take this fluffy brush right here this is from the Golden Triangle Collection from Delium Tools this is a 785 tapered blending brush sometimes I forget about my Delium Tools eyeshadow brushes and I want to kick myself because they are fantastic. They're some of the best synthetic brushes out there. So, so far I didn't feel anything grabbing. In fact, I feel like this dried down pretty nice. I think it is about the application. Next, I do want to move on to this shade right here, Vagabond. Now I'm going to stick with the same brush because I really want a nice blown out look. I'm going to start with a very light hand and get that all into the crease. Dipping back into your good makeup brushes because I have way too many brushes and my collection is so huge. It's like putting on that old pair of shoes you forgot about and you're like, damn, that is why I love these so much. Like, look how this brush just like blends out the shadow. It's like, it's effortless. It just looks so good. So, so far I don't see any skipping from putting down that matte cream shadow first. It actually looks quite nice. I'm gonna go ahead and say it's all about the application with those dabbing on versus going in this type of motion and trying to spread it out this way because I do feel like my shadow which is a complete shocker so far is sitting very nice on top of it. Let's go ahead and move on to the next shade. I'm going to switch up my brush a bit. I'm going to switch to this Lamora brush right here. This is just called a blending brush and I'm going to dip into this shade right here come together. I'm going to kind of focus this on the outer part of the eye and kind of working that upward and slightly into the crease. It's been a while since I played with ColourPop shadows, but there is something about, I don't know if it's these shadows or if it's that matte cream shadow that I laid down or if it's a combination of both, but this is just blending out and diffusing freaking beautiful. All right, let's get something out here on the outer corners just to kind of deepen everything up. I'm going to stick with the same brush and I'm going to dip into this deeper brown shade right here, No Bounds. I'm just going to start dabbing that on the outer part of the eye. I love shadows that just work for me. It takes very little effort. Sometimes I have an issue blending out deeper brown shades, but this one I am not at all. Like it's just blending out so easily. I'm going to go back in with my larger blending brush. I'm just going to go into the crease and just make sure everything is blended out and looking flawless. Perfect. Let's work on that lower lash line. I'm going to take this Sigma eye shading brush. This is an E55. I think I'm going to dip into this shade right here, morning side. I'm just going to drag that all along the lower lash line. I think putting the bright peachy shade on the bottom will be a nice contrast to the more deeper mauve shades on top. And I like to use as many shadows as possible when I'm demoing a palette of obviously, so that I can give you guys a good idea, a good first impressions, let you know if the palette is good or not. This is one of those shades that I would normally go for and just put all over the lid and go very peachy. That's why I want to try something a little bit different, something that I wouldn't normally do. And it is kind of an interesting contrast with this on the lower lash line because the top up here is it's a little bit more cool tone. And this is a little bit more warm. I'm liking the contrast. I think I'm going to blend it out even further and dip into this shade right here top down using that same brush. I like to use a lighter shade sometimes on top of a darker shade on the lower lash line 
because I feel like it helps just blend it out even more and almost looks seamless. You can't tell where the shadow starts or ends. And it just looks so beautiful. It's like, it's the perfect type of blend. Let's dip into these Jelly Much Shadows. This formula is stunning. I owned one before, but I will say I felt like it dried out pretty quickly. I'll have to see how these work. So I picked up Mystical as well as Mojave Moves, and I will swatch these for you guys. The shade Mystical, this is just freaking beautiful. This is what it looks like inside of the container. Look at that, gorgeous. And it does have like a straight up like jelly, bouncy texture. It's pretty firm. Almost feels like tofu. So that is the shade Mystical. Oh, I think that's what we're going to put all over the lid today. And then we have Mojave Moves. This one is really gorgeous too. We might have to put that like in the inner corner. You don't need much. You just need to like dip your finger into the pot. And that's about it. Look at that. So pretty. They're so glittery and dimensional and just gorgeous. So I think I am going to put this one all over the lid. This is the shade Mystical. Works perfect with these shades that I put down. Gorgeous, that is beautiful. Look how shiny that is. That is so pretty. I am loving, loving this freaking eye look. This is just, it's effortless. It looks so beautiful. I kind of wanna put something right here in the center. I'm gonna dip back into the palette and I think I'm gonna put down Spirited. They put the Super Shock formula in these palettes now, which I absolutely love. I think that that is genius because you get more than one type of finish. Dab that right in the center to further brighten it up. Yes, that did exactly what I wanted it to. So pretty. I'm gonna go ahead and blend out the edges of this. Let's get that brighter Jelly Much shade. Mojave Moves in the inner corner. I think that that's going to be perfect. I'm gonna take this small detail brush right here. This is the Morphe Jaclyn Hill JH42. And I'm just gonna dip into what is on the cap here, if you can see it because there's more than enough. I don't know how this reacts with a brush. I'm gonna try it. Like I said, it's been a while since I've used this formula. I don't want it to go too crazy, but I think it'll look gorgeous on the inner corners. It's just that little dab and you get like that little shift of bright and glitter right in the inner corner. Definitely doesn't take much at all. Perfection. This is one of my favorite eye looks I've created in a long time. I say that every time I play with a new eyeshadow palette I like. I'm like, this is my favorite eye look that I've created in a long time. Can't help it. I just get really excited. So I'm just gonna put that up on the brow bone as well. What I like about this shade is that it almost has like a sheer base and it just gives you like a hint of glitter and it is just, it's freaking gorgeous. I think these Jelly Much shadows are a little bit underrated. They're so pretty. If you want something that is easy to apply, something that you can just pop all over the lid, but just gives you a lot of dimension and shine and like kind of like very micro reflex of glitter and everything all at once, I feel like you will absolutely love this formula, but these work hand in hand perfectly with this eyeshadow palette. I did have every intention of dipping into seashells and alcove right here, these two shades, because I love greens, I love mossy greens, pastels, I love peachy shades. So I feel like these three right here would create a gorgeous look. Let me know if you wanna see a tutorial on that because I think that that would create something absolutely stunning. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and pop on some eyeliner, some lashes, and then we will talk about my final thoughts of the Wild Nothing collection. So here is the final look, and I have to be honest with you, if you couldn't already tell, I am obsessed with this eye look. So let's just quickly graze over the collection. The Lux lip oils are a major yes. These are perfect for someone who wants something that is no fuss, has a very light tint to it, or if you are someone who just loves to overline the lips, pop on that lip liner of your choice and then top it off with something glossy and nourishing that's not sticky and isn't too much of a fuss. You will absolutely love, love, love these. They smell fantastic. They feel so good on the lips. The packaging is amazing. I love these. This is something that can definitely see myself reaching into all the time. This is right up my alley. A plus, thumbs up, couldn't recommend these more. Let's talk about the matte cream shadows. Obviously in the beginning I was a little bit on the fence, but there is an application technique. Now the shade Bronco, the lighter shade, the one that I used as my base, feels a little bit thicker and almost a little bit drier than the shade Camouflage that I picked up. Here are the two swatches again, just for reference. This is Bronco, this is the shade Camouflage. But if you dab them on the lids, as you can see, they make a fantastic 
fantastic eyeshadow base. I was worried at first, it felt very thick, but I feel like my shadows blended and sat beautifully on top of these. So I'm really excited to play with these more to just get a better feel of them, use them in different ways, use them by themselves. I think that it is a really cool product and I can't wait to see if they come out with more of those. If they came out with some very colorful ones, that would be fantastic. So I'm really excited to see where those go. The Wild Nothing eyeshadow palette you guys, ColourPop shadows, they're typically A+, and this one did not disappoint. We dipped into quite a few shades. I have Crystal Cove, Top Down, Vagabond, Come Together, No Bounds, Morning Side, and then we also put Spirited on the lids as well. So I got a pretty good idea of this palette. It performs just as good, if not better, than the other ColourPop eyeshadow palettes. So again, A+. Definitely recommend this if you are into these shades, if you love ColourPop. I think that this is a palette that would be worth it to have in your collection. And I do like the different metallics in here. It does make it different enough, at least for me, to justify the price. I like all the different finishes. You've got the matte shades with the glitter in them right here. This shade right here is like that as well. You've got beautiful mattes that can help you achieve any look. You've got your transition shades, and you've also got the two Super Shock shades in here, as well as the two metallic shades. So I think that this is really cool. It gives you good dimension, and there are no pressed glitters in this palette. So that is fantastic. The Jelly Much Shadows, girl, yes. So much freaking yes. These are gorgeous, easy to use, effortless. You get everything in this. You get a metallic, you get a little bit of glitter from it, and it's easy to use, isn't creasing, and looks absolutely beautiful on the lids. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think of this collection. Did you pick anything up? I do want to mention before I forget, I did not pick up any of the large pan blushes. And the reason for that was is that I'm not a huge fan of that formula. I have tried the highlighters before and I just don't like the formulas that come in those large clamshell compacts. The blushes might be a different story. I just wasn't going to risk it and spend my money on it. So if you picked it up and you absolutely love it, or if you're like me, and you didn't like the highlighters in those giant clamshells, but you tried this and you absolutely love it and you think I should pick it up and try it out because it's like the best thing that you've ever used, please let me know if I am missing out on anything. Give this video a huge thumbs up if you liked it. If you loved the look that I created, give it a thumbs up. Comment your thoughts down below. And of course, if you like the content, if you would pretty please subscribe and hit that bell button. I love you guys so, so much and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Mwah. Bye guys.